As we continue our protest coverage, we now turn to Fox 12's Marja Martinez. She joins us live from downtown Portland with how business owners are reacting to those continued protests. Marja, especially now as we enter the busiest time of year for many retailers, right? Absolutely, Wayne, and a lot of them were affected today, including the manager of this running store here. I can tell you we didn't see many businesses shut down before the protest started. Since those flashbangs began to go off, we saw a couple shop owners their doors and I spoke with some of them. They pretty much uh, had the same thing to say. This is getting pretty old. As the holidays draw near, downtown Portland is bustling. But today, some businesses didn't benefit from the rush. It slows down. Yeah, we don't get as many people in when something's like this. The manager of foot traffic watched protesters and counter demonstrators march through the street from inside his empty running store. To him, a familiar sight. Been pretty regular down here. Not every day, not every week. But enough to affect sales. I just think the, the, the citizens of Portland, like, I want to stay away from downtown unless I'm involved in that. Some businesses were even forced to lock their doors, keeping crowds of protesters out, along with potential customers. A couple blocks away, restaurant manager Kim Palmer chose safety over profit locking the few customers she had at the time inside as police deployed less lethal weapons to disperse the crowd out front. Our business pretty much kind of died with when that happened. So I hate to see these protests in downtown Portland and I really wish they'd stop. According to police, several crimes were committed at today's rally, including reckless burning and assault but Palmer still counts herself lucky. We haven't had any real horrible things happen that I've seen in the past, like in the Pearl District. And she hopes it stays that way. Not all shoppers are steering clear of this area. I spoke with a young man earlier tonight who was here buying some gifts, and he said that the protest didn't bother him at all. He basically said that uh, it's just another weekend here in Portland. Reporting live in downtown, Marja Martinez, Voxville, Oregon.